Good morning. Today we're diving into an exciting aspect of language learning and cognitive development understanding how we extend our use of language to describe new experiences. Specifically, we'll explore the four types of tact extensions generic, metaphorical, metonymical, and solecistic. Each of these plays a crucial role in how we communicate and understand the world around us. Let's start with what tact extensions are and then look at each type with examples. Tact extension refers to the process in verbal behavior, where a speaker generalizes a learned label tact to other objects, actions, or concepts that share some characteristics with the original stimulus, but have not been directly taught. This concept is rooted in B. F. Skinner's analysis of verbal behavior. There are four primary types of tact extensions generic, metaphorical, metonymical, and solecistic. Here's an overview of each type with examples. 1. Generic extension occurs when a tact learned for one object or event is applied to other objects or events that share similar physical properties or belong to the same category. Here is some examples. Dogs, after learning to label a labrador as a dog, a child uses the term dog to refer to beagles, poodles, and other breeds they haven't been explicitly taught. Cars, a child learns to call a family sedan, a car, and then uses the term car to refer to trucks, vans, and SUVs. Fruit learning to call an apple a fruit, and then using fruit to label bananas, oranges, and grapes. 2. Metaphorical extension involves applying a tack to objects actions, or events based on abstract or non-literal similarities to the original stimulus. Look at the examples. Time is money referring to spending time on an activity. Drawing a parallel between the value of time and the way money is spent. Relationships as journeys describing a relationship as on the rocks to signify trouble, likening it to a ship facing difficulty at sea. Ideas as light calling a new idea a bright idea. Comparing the concept of enlightenment or illumination to the quality of the that is. 3. Metonymical extension occurs when a tact for one feature of an object or event is used to refer to the whole object or event or vice versa, based on a relevant or salient feature or part of the original stimulus. Example. The White House using the White House to refer to the president or the actions of the U.S. Executive branch based on the location's significance. Sales on the horizon saying, I see sales to mean I see a ship, where the sails represent the entire ship. Wheels referring to a car as nice wheels, where a part of the car wheels is used to represent the whole vehicle. 4. Solecistic extension involves incorrect or unconventional applications of a tact, often due to overgeneralization or misunderstanding the appropriate context for its use. Example Animal misidentification calling a horse a big dog because of superficial similarities in appearance or function. Misuse of titles addressing any male adult as dad because the child has learned to associate the term with adult males. Not understanding the specific relationship context. Inappropriate metaphors, describing a very slow computer as snail mail. Misapplying the term for traditional postal services to technology inappropriately. Let's practice some exams. Mock exam 1. Sarah sees a type of bird she has never seen before but recognizes it shares features with birds she knows, like feathers and a beak. She excitedly points to it and says, Look, a bird! Which type of tact extension is Sarah demonstrating? 1. Generic extension 2. Metaphorical extension 3. Metonymical extension 4. Solecistic extension
Correct answer is 1. Generic extension. Why its correct generic extension involves using a term to label novel instances that share relevant features with known instances of that category. In the scenario with Sarah, she sees a bird she has never seen before, but recognizes it as a bird due to its shared features with other birds she knows feathers, beak. This is a classic case of generic extension, where the label bird is applied to a new, specific example of the broader category. Birds based on shared characteristics. 2. Metaphorical extension is incorrect because Sarah is not using a feature of one thing to describe a different but related concept. 3. Metonymical extension is incorrect because she is not naming the bird by a related feature or part. 4. Solicistic extension is incorrect because Sarah is not making an error in applying a known label to a novel instance. She is correctly identifying a bird based on its general characteristics. After testing a very spicy salsa for the first time, Jake exclaims, This salsa is like lava! What type of tact extension is Jake demonstrating? 1. Generic extension 2. Metaphorical extension 3. Metonymical extension 4. Solicistic extension Correct answer is 2. Metaphorical extension. Why its correct metaphorical extension involves using a term to describe something in a way that goes beyond its literal meaning, typically by highlighting a shared feature or quality in a figurative manner. Jake's exclamation, This salsa is like lava, uses the term lava metaphorically to describe the salsa's speciness. Not because the salsa is literally lava, but because it shares the quality of being intensely hot. This imaginative use of language to draw a comparison based on a shared characteristic is indicative of metaphorical extension. 1. Generic extension is incorrect because Jake is not labeling the salsa based on its membership in a broader category. 3. Metonymical extension is incorrect because Jake is not referring to the salsa by a part or related feature, but is comparing its speciness to the heat of lava. 4. Solacistic extension is incorrect because Jake is not misapplying a term. He is using a figure of speech to describe the salsa's speciness. Mock exam 3. In a music class. When the teacher asks who knows the song they've just learned, Mia raises her hand and says, I know the piano, referring to the song they learned to play on the piano. Which type of tact extension is Mia demonstrating? 1. Generic extension. 2. Metaphorical extension. 3. Metonymical extension. 4. Solacistic extension. Correct answer is 3. Metonymical extension. Why its correct metonymical extension involves using a term that stands for one aspect of something to refer to the whole thing or another aspect of it. In Maya's case, she says, I know the piano, to indicate that she knows the song. They've been learning to play on the piano. Here. The piano an instrument is used to refer to the song played on the piano, showcasing metonymical extension, where a part the piano is used to refer to the whole or related concept the song. 1. Generic extension is incorrect because Mia is not identifying a broader category to which the song belongs. 2. Metaphorical extension is incorrect because Mia is not making a comparison between unrelated concepts. 4. Solacistic extension is incorrect because Maya's use of piano to refer to the song is not an error, but a deliberate choice to use a part or aspect the piano to refer to the whole the song learned on the piano. Mock exam 4. While playing with animal figurines, 
Liam calls a hippopotamus a big gray horse. What type of tact extension is Liam demonstrating? 1. Generic extension. 2. Metaphorical extension. 3. Metonymical extension. 4. Solacistic extension. Correct answer is 4. Solacistic extension. Why its correct solacistic extension occurs when a learner incorrectly extends a term or label to something that does not fit the category or characteristics defined by that term. Lime calling a hippopotamus a big gray horse is an error because, despite a superficial resemblance, big and gray, a hippopotamus does not belong to the category horse. This misuse of the term horse to label an animal that does not share the defining features of horses beyond being big and gray is a clear example of solacistic extension. 1. Generic extension is incorrect because Lyme is not applying a term based on shared features within a broader category that correctly includes both the hippopotamus and a horse. 2. Metaphorical extension is incorrect because Lyme is not using big gray horse as a figure of speech to describe the hippopotamus. He appears to be mislabeling it based on superficial resemblance. 3. Metonymical extension is incorrect because Lyme is not using a part or feature of the hippopotamus to refer to it instead. He is incorrectly extending the label of one animal to another. That's all today. I hope you understand better about tact extension. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.